name is Louise. I'm from a company called Tobin Properties in Sweden. We saw it as an opportunity to come and see some interesting projects and get inspiration about trends within development and in both the construction, planning and marketing material. Yeah, it has been a nice uh, variety of projects. It's very inspirational to see how this city is doing you know, projects in different ways. There's so much opportunities in London because there's such a rich, diverse uh, context everywhere. This scenario here, we have an amazing canal, we have connections to the Camden markets, the King's Cross development, the Eurostar comes in um, right to St Pancras. And I think in London there's always, always something wherever your site is that you can latch onto and feed onto and they're each unique um, and you get support from planners and uh, conservation office all that as long as you engage with the community and I think that's something that we always try and do when we're working on any schemes is you have to be prepared to meet them tell them what the project's about and all those and you will then gain support it's important um, for exchanges to, to happen both in terms of you know, knowledge, um, but also you know, consumers travel a lot now, so we should be able to learn from other shopping centre developers in, in other markets. Box Park is the world's first pop-up mall. It's uh, built from 60 shipping containers. It's built in the, the heart of Shoreditch and we're the home to about 40 independent retailers. So I just felt that was going to be a really boring world if, if every town that we went to had the same sort of type of retailers and I wanted to create a special home where independent retailers could thrive. With me, I connected up the dots of my life, but with some other people it's a bit simpler. They can just go and see things that they like and you know, look at other experiences. So it's, it's always important to have inspiration and to understand what the major retail developments are out in the world, you know, and, 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 and maybe to bring back that inspiration to, to, to other places. So, you know, we all take inspiration in different ways. I, I tend to do it in a bit more of an abstract sort of sense. So not to take inspiration directly from other retail developments because you then just become an, another version of them, but more to look outside of that into other areas and go, wow, what about you apply that idea from this other area to this area? And that's, you know, I, I like to think that's why we managed to innovate things. Some of the opportunities that we discovered as working through this project really focus on the idea of trying to maximize the net livable, but at the same time having some generosity, so giving some generosity back to the building in terms of roof terraces, common parks, cafes, restaurants, um, to really make the, the building turn into a, an active place. So London's a very international city. Uh, we're very fortunate to have a number of people that, that, that are not from London that come to London to work uh, and to live, but also to visit. Um, and that gives us a real opportunity to take people around and show the sort of things that we're doing in London. I, I think it's always useful to see what other people are doing, not to copy, but to find inspiration and to learn lessons, so that we're always constantly improving on what we do. Um, and that's a very normal part of architecture and development, where you know, we often go to see other buildings that are being constructed, not only to see about the way the buildings are constructed, but actually smarter ways of building them. take everything with us for future projects. Everything from small things like how they do the selling books to, to bigger things about how they do destination planning and uh, how to get uh, living societies around the projects and not only build a house. Um, this is the, the second time um, that, that we've done an experience um, with you guys, which is you know, it's something very new and, and different for us and you know, we'd certainly look to continue it in the future. 
Um, I think sometimes people are fearful of being ambitious in a project. If you tell the story, have a clear, strong idea, show the benefits, then you get the support. Mm -hmm.